Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Fire 48 count colored pencils. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about these pencils because they say that they're really good quality and that they're really smooth. So I'm going to test them out to see if they compare to the other colored pencils that I use. And I'll let you know if I would recommend these. I never tried them out before, so this is going to be my first time actually drawing with them. And the only way that I feel like I'll be able to make to for sure know if these are good pencils is by doing something really intricate. So I sketched out this rose right here and I'm going to see how well they perform while I'm drawing. I'm going to try to draw something that has a lot of color and a variety so I can see exactly how well they blend together. And I'm going to show you guys what these pencils can do. It's always good to have good quality pencils and I'm not sure if these are quality pencils, not yet. But I will find out and I'm, like, I'm going to let you guys know and see for yourself what you guys think about the quality. If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. But when you're not here. Alright guys, so I just finished up this drawing and what I have to say about it is I wasn't that happy with it because I wasn't able to achieve the realism that I wanted. Now I'll be fair about these pencils, I don't think they were intended for realism. They're hard to work with as far as the blending goes, like this isn't what it was meant for. This is the highest quality paper that I could get. The pencils on, on the other hand were very choppy looking. But this is also me blending several colors together like I usually do and I was expecting them to work that way. And even then I still try to cater to the pencils. Instead of using browns I would try to use blacks first or maybe I would use um, the browns and then the colors and I would try to blend them together and not overlap them. Even the blacks, I don't think that they were that dark but either way it wasn't what I wanted. Now these are pretty difficult to distinguish apart because they don't have numbers or they don't have names on them you should always use mediums and materials that's catered to what you're trying to go for and there's obviously way more pencils that I didn't use over here and I actually didn't even use all of these pencils now if I wanted to go back and add even more detail I don't think that would be possible I'm not saying that I couldn't do it but if you can see here, you'll notice that I attempted to make water droplets and it didn't really go as I planned. I didn't have a white, so what I was trying to do is use my gel pen and that worked for a little bit on some areas, but it honestly didn't look the way I wanted them, so I just tried to cover them up. Now are they smooth? I would say yes, but I think they're too smooth. I like pencils that will leave a lot of wax and they're super vibrant. Did they blend well? I guess you could say they did to an extent. I wouldn't have to sharpen these pencils that often because they don't break. So that's one plus about these pencils. Alright guys, if you want to try these pencils out for yourself, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description and you'll be able to use my discount code so that way whenever you buy these pencils you'll save some money now uh, maybe you'll do better than I did or maybe you'll use them for something besides realism because again like I said I was pushing um, these pencils to their limits pretty much anyways I appreciate you guys thanks for all the support and until next time